Donuts? Who brought the donuts? My fiance. Oh, that's nice of her. It's the joy. It's, she brought the joy. You know, you gotta bring the joy. Okay. And you know what else is bringing joy this season? What's that? We are. What are you, <laughs> we are what are you bringing? What kind of joy you got bringing? It's super season. Oh, oh man. man, super season. Oh, I got some supers coming. Yeah? Oh, man, this blue one's coming in soon. You got any pictures? Come on. Are we on a website? Uh, I think there's some on the website, but we just got a black one that's coming. Mm, a super. black one's coming. It's pretty cool. It's not Wouldn't mind a Supra. Let's take a look. I got the, we got the blue one coming. Well, you guys already know about the blue one. Yeah, yeah, I told them about it. I, I want to drive that car, and that's, that's going to be fun, but what else you got? Let me see. There's a black one coming. Yeah? And, uh... It's really nice. I'm gonna pull up the photos. But it's an automatic. That's I, not bad though. I might just keep that. You know what? I honestly like the automatic Supras for drag racing especially. If you're if you're a hardcore drag racer, automatic is it's just faster, truth of the matter. If you're just like a driving enthusiast, then okay, yeah. Six speed manual, whatever. That's that's better. But if you're racing, if you're drag racing, if you're out there, you know, in a straight line, automatic's just faster. You don't have to shift. I'll tell you what, though, Carlos, Carlos <clears throat> already hit me up on this. Let's see it. This is Ooh. Carlos's twin right here. Okay. So nice little Supra. We got. It's what? What does he car, call his car? Who Carlos? Yeah, he calls I'm... it uh, Ebony. Does he? I don't know. <laughs> ebony and ivory thing. So you got your own little ebony coming? I think what I do is, is I take this car, I just, I do, I wrap it and I do all the fake mods like Carlos has. Right? Oh but boy. Oh boy. And I just write, what does he write? So, oh, all right, so you do the fake version of Carlos's real fake, mods. I'm going to do the fake one. I'm going to get an HKS sticker. I'm going to stick it on the front, an HP Logic sticker that he has on the catch can. Yeah. And he's got cream written right there on the wood. Yeah. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to pretend I'm Carlos. That, that ooh, would be funny. Ooh, I can do my, you can just start my telling people like you're him. Carlos. Oh yeah. Slim Coke. Slim Los. Slim Los. We need a alter ego. Slim Los. Shallows. Sh Shallows. I got this. All right. Well. Do this. Ooh, FedEx is here. Oh, More stuff. Know. This is good. One more little mod for the FD. The braking, um, even with the StopTech rotors and the Hawk pads, is, is good. The good brakes feel good. But I like a little more, I like, I like a little more pedal feel. I like it to be a little firmer. So um, it was suggested to me, I was talking to Tommy and we were talking about things and he was saying, oh, did you try the steel brake lines yet. I said, no, I haven't. So I went ahead and picked up a set. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on and see if this is gonna give me a little more pedal feel. Maybe make it a little bit firmer, that's the idea. So they're stainless, braided stainless, coated, so they're not gonna have any problems. And uh, look like they go right onto the caliper with a banjo fitting. So let's see, we'll get them out, size them up, Make sure everything looks like it's going to work, and then we'll get to putting them in. Now here's their old crusty lines, their old rubber. And when you pump the brakes, you could see them like flexing. So I'm hoping that that was some of the weak pedal feel that we were getting. So took those off. I mean, the installation is an absolute breeze. If you can't do this, you shouldn't be holding tools. And uh, new ones go in exactly where the old ones were. So it's a direct fit, you can see. It uses all the original clips and stuff as well. Um, and just replaces the old junky lines with some solid new stainless braided ones. So now all that's left, we I just bled the brakes, so now all that's left is button the wheels back on and uh, we'll take her down and see how the pedal feel is. Oh, that exhaust. So good. If you guys didn't see my last video, go check it out. Put this exhaust on. Carla got it for me. So happy about that. 
So anyway, we'll uh, get the wheels button back on and then take it down and see what it feels like. Well, we're back in the car, back in the hot seat. And uh, so far I can tell you the pedal does feel stiffer um, without even moving. So initial pressure actually feels pretty good. Um, I gotta let this thing warm up. If I do anything but back her out. So these brake lines, you know, it's a very pretty cheap uh, $100 fix or whatever you want to call it, upgrade. Not really too crazy. It takes about an hour to put them in. And on most older vehicles, this is this is a pretty big difference because it actually does uh, replace an old part which could fail on you. And also, it is adding a lot of rigidity to the brake line. So it enhances the feel. So let's take a look and see. I'm gonna cruise to a spot where I can use the brakes. <laughs> yeah, so initially, just to touch the brake pedal, you can feel, it's just a, a little stiffer, instant um, braking. So that's exactly what I was looking for. Nothing crazy, nothing dramatic. It's not like it changes the whole feel of everything, but it does add a little bit, yeah, it does add a little bit of stiffness to it, which is what I actually was hoping for. That's good. So now as we get a little bit of temperature up in the car, it's a cool day here actually in Florida today. Um, it's like middle of the day, it's almost two o'clock right now, and I think that temperature barely got over like 63 64 so for us that's that's cold <laughs> last night it got into the 40s anyway let's cruise up we're starting to get a little bit of temperature in the motor so I'm just gonna cruise up to a 50 miles per hour here just touch the brakes yeah that's good that's a nice feel I like that. So it is definitely firmer. The pedal is more instant. It's not, it doesn't take any more effort. It just, it, it's there sooner when you start to touch the brakes. So it's a good upgrade for this car. If you have one of these, or even if you just have an older car, consider doing a brake line upgrade on it so that you can get a little bit better brake feel out of it. I like that, that feels nice. And the exhaust sounds so good. It's not much louder, honestly, than it was, but it has a nice, nice like bassy tone. It's hard for the camera to pick it up, but it is there. It feels nice. It sounds good. The tires are super sticky. Yeah, this car's coming together now. It's nice. Okay. So I'm gonna do one more little. Uh, call it a hot pass but I'm gonna accelerate a little bit harder to get up to that 70 mile an hour braking point Acceleration is insane. This thing feels so good. Hard to believe the stock twin turbos are able to generate what they do, but man, does it feel good. Sounds good, feels good, braking's good, handling is superb. Everything about this car now is on point. I'm running out of content for you guys at this point. This thing is just good. I am talking to uh, a couple of people about more upgrades, but we'll take them as they come. Suspension is next. That's gonna be icing on the cake for this car. This factory old suspension is worn out. So we're gonna be upgrading that. Oh yeah, brakes feel nice. I'm happy with that, that's a nice feel. 
these StopTech rotors are actually pretty good. They're not that bad. It's a stock replacement, so it's nothing crazy. But between that and the Hawk pads, it's a good upgrade for the factory equipment. All right, so that'll do it for this up, update, upgrade, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully, if you haven't by now, you've seen the other videos, go check them out. Um, we've done like five or six videos with this car now. And pretty soon I'm just gonna do an overall with it just to get everybody up to date with everything that we've done and what we're gonna be doing. But right now we're good. Everything feels up to date. Everything is now sharp and we're getting closer to what I consider the best version of this car, which was the goal from the beginning. So give me a like, give me a comment. I'm gonna answer, I try to answer all of the comments at least if, if there's a question or whatever. Leave me a question, leave me a comment in the uh, down below and I'll get to it hopefully. Anyway, that's gonna do it. See you guys later.